It's amazing to watch how things change when a disaster hits. Right now, Southern California is on fire. And not like your favorite sports team is on fire. In the whole, woohoo, we rule. It's more of a, ah, my house is burning kind of on fire. Whenever there's great tragedy, people seem to rise to the occasion. They open up and do things for others, offering their time and their help. It's like a little spark of beauty shining through the gloom, a silver lining around the cloud. It makes me smile because people are great. Then I think of the couch potato masses who sit idly by and say, eh, there's nothing I can do about it. They hear about hundreds or even thousands of people being killed or displaced at home or abroad, but because it doesn't affect anyone they know or love, they watch, they listen, they sit back and <laughs> Their indifference cools my enthusiasm a bit. At least they're not directly contributing to the problem. I guess people are okay. Then I'm reminded of all the exposed scams after other disasters like 9-11 or Hurricane Katrina. People who posed as the Red Cross or some other aid organization to steal donations. Or others who just took advantage of aid they didn't need to enrich themselves. And I'm left to think, man, people stink. In the end, tragedy is just an opportunity for the hero, the villain, the indifferent in all of us to rise to the surface. So here's your chance to be a superhero, a supervillain, or a super nothing.